the Times of England said uh, it's a bridge to nowhere. Personally, I don't like the bridge where it is today. It divides our land. I'd like to see it removed completely, if at all possible. Anybody who's been caught on the bridge, if there's been an accident during peak hours, knows the bridge is just shut down. Historically, the Lionsgate Bridge is, is uh, an extremely important landmark. Uh, it has been likened to the uh, Golden Gate Bridge, although the Golden Gate Bridge is several times larger. But still, it sits there at that point in our geography and kind of is a signature for uh, Vancouver. And, and uh, it certainly was a very strong feeling that it should be preserved as a, as a landmark. Nobody had except my father, had the idea that there would be a road up north and that the bridge would be a good idea. But now it's so, so busy and people almost hate it. I don't. <laughs> It was the Guinnesses who, uh, who had the money and who were willing to uh, uh, invest in Vancouver. Uh, that, that's as my uh, father was a teetotaler and so was my mother. But uh, they rationalized it. They, they, uh, he wanted the bridge and this was the way it was going to have to be. That's how the bridge sort of evolved. Since then, the salt air from underneath and the uh, salt from the road deck have started to corrode um, between the road deck and, and where it's fixed to the structure. And that's why we need to do something with this bridge. Rust. It uh, occupies a lot more space than the iron which it is formed from and this pushes uh, parts of the bridge out of shape. It starts rattling and every bus makes it rattle and then the concrete breaks up that's filling it and uh, generally it's a poor situation. The original owner uh, put down sand you see as his anti-skid device but the ministry started using salt. Well, I would say salt, with the design of the deck as we have here, which is not waterproof, uh, would have had a damaging effect. My father was really an idealist. Um, he wanted to do something for his beloved Vancouver. He'd talk about Vancouver for hours if anyone would listen. He was very fond of the city. All three governments were really against the bridge at first. I think uh, a lesser man than my father would have simply given up. But he knew he had Vancouver behind him and uh, he, he pushed on anyway. Many years ago, when the, uh, the rights away was taken for the bridge, at the time, the Department of Indian Affairs suggested to our people it would be a good thing for, for us. But our people were basically lied to at the time that the land was granted. And we feel very bad about it. Well, when the government bought it, uh, it became, instead of a single bridge, it became uh, number 1481. And now, of course, the number is like 3500. So it's, instead of being one in 1500, it's now one in 3500. You see, there's a certain dilution of interest, you might say. The present government has I would say, personally think, they've squandered a lot of money because I've been involved in this since the start with the government, and they've put it off. It was going to be all the uh, short list for what they wanted was going to come out a year ago. 
Now it's uh, put off till September. I doubt we'll hear till the next election about the, what they're going to do there. And the minister's most likely looking at making that decision this fall. The government has um, <laughs> has, as in many things, I suppose, uh, the government has been rather a stumbling block. There's nothing wrong with the bridge except the deck. The deck is absolutely shot. They said. Three years ago, said they give it five year life. If the bridge was kept open until the year 2000, I would think they'd want to replace some of those uh, deck panels. I think visitors, when they drive over the bridge, think it is beautiful. There's one thing that I didn't recognize before, the road through Stanley Park. It's so curved so that you never see the bridge until right at the very last moment. It's rather a nice sort of shock. It's, a, it's a kind of ironic in some ways. They have a, two icons, in a sense, that stood for Vancouver for a very long time, the park and the bridge. And in some ways, they are incompatible. Uh, I don't see the bridge in the long-term future of the, of the park. Uh, I don't see the problems it brings to the park as being sensible problems for us. And I think we should simply eliminate that problem. The Lionsgate Bridge uh, cuts our village in half. That's why I said earlier it would be nice if they would, if the bridge was uh, removed completely. Could be kept going forever, like an old car or an old house. Could be kept going forever. I'd uh, like to see it stay because I think it's a beautiful entrance to Vancouver. It's pretty difficult to uh, list all my father's achievements. He had so many ideas, but all his ideas homed in on this particular uh, project. I think my father had, had a dream of the bridge. It was an ideal type of dream, I suppose, but uh, he, he really loved it. <laughs>